Oh man, I cannot stop. Gross. Hi, I am TP Man and I am here to diagnose your illness. Thank you, TP Man. I don't know if I can take this diarrhea anymore. Let me see. It looks like you have a disease that has killed millions of people. That disease is cholera. This disease seems to have emerged in India in the early 1800s and since then there have been eight cholera pandemics spanning several continents. Oh no, do I have some kind of killer virus or something? No, you have cholera. It is a diarrheal disease that can kill within hours if left untreated. It is contracted through ingestion of food or water contaminated with the bacterium Vibrio cholera. This happens when people are exposed to filthy drinking water or food or disgusting environmental conditions. Oops, I have cholera. It must have been from the flood water at Central Washington University that I drank. This could be avoided if you stay away from potentially unsanitary food and water. There are 3 to 5 million cases of cholera every year and of those 100,000 to 120,000 people die. But lucky for you I know the treatment, help take some oral rehydration salts. You can also take fluids, electrolytes and antibiotics. 80% of cases can be treated with oral rehydration salts. Thank your TP man. You're lucky I got here quick cholera can kill people within 2 hours to 5 days. People with cholera throw up and produce 10 to 20 liters of diarrhea a day. So make sure you drink enough liquid to match 10% of your body weight daily. This feels horrible. Is there any other preventative measures? If you can stop farting for a second I will tell you. Sorry. Anyways, 75% of people with cholera are asymptomatic but can still pass the bacteria through feces for 7 to 14 days after infection. That is just one of many reasons to keep feces away from water we use. There is also a vaccine but it should be thought of as a secondary measure. I have never been vaccinated. Many people have not been vaccinated and at this point no country upon entrance. This is all good information. Are there any intervention measures that are taken to prevent widespread epidemics? Outbreak resonance consists of providing safe water and sanitation to the infected population and providing health education to enhance hygiene and safe food handling processes. Well, it sounds like if your calf full cholera is easily preventable. I bet washing your hands like this helps. Proper hygiene is important. It is important to remember preventative measures. Cholera is not very significant in America but in many countries cholera outbreaks are growing significantly. Because cholera vaccines are not required to enter America. An outbreak in America is very possible. You would have to be crazy not to take the proper precautions. Thank you TP man I think those salts are working I am glad I didn't die of dehydration caused by explosive diarrhea. Now that you're feeling better everyone do the cholera dance. <laughs>